You're listening to Those Dram Ginzers with your hosts, John and Zach. Hey everyone, I'm John. And I'm Zach. And welcome to Those Dram Ginzers where we drink bourbon and talk about it. <laughs> For everything Those Dram Ginzers, be sure to check out thosedramyinsers.com. You can find our social media links, our Patreon links, and order form for these cool TDY hats. You can also find a link for Zach's favorite site, which oh, is... John, do you mean dramit.threadless.com where you can get this cool t-shirt? Well, yes, Zach, I do. More? <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, I'm so glad you brought it up. I do love that website. And I love it even more when other people love that website. So I would <laughs> love it if they would go and also love it. <laughs> All right, Zach. If our website could be a has for you. That would be great. <laughs> Perfect. You ready to get drinking? Uh, well, normally I'd say yes, but today I was just scared. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you scared? Because we are starting a new series. We are starting a new series of best of price ranges and it's going to get tricky as we get up in, in, in price right um i don't know how high we're going to go in price but i figure we'll, we'll start out low and, and work our way up and have some fun with this so because we hate ourselves and we love you and we love you know doing things to make you laugh and make you enjoy them we decided to start with ten dollars and under so that's why Yay. zach's scared <laughs> We got awesome. four, count them four. Um, I'd call them American whiskey. I didn't go, we didn't go Canadian. Would you call it whiskey? I, I, would, I would call it American whiskey. Like it's made in America. Call it whiskey. Yeah. Well, some of them might are in a little bit of question, but. Or would you call um, it hand sanitizer? This one might be. Um, so no Canadian, no scotch, no iris. It's all, we're talking just American because there wasn't much else under $10. I literally went to find wine, good spirits type. Uh, filtered it for 10 bucks and under and these are the four I got so the four in question I'm going to show you all four since I'm the one that has the bottles and Zach uh, has uh, some sample bottles of these and we're doing video because you're going to probably want to see our reactions to these so this is a treat for you all right so first up I guess we can go one by one right I'll I'll introduce it. Okay. First up is Philadelphia blended whiskey with natural flavors and caramel color. If this is bad, they owe the the entire city an apology. Mm -hmm. Since 1894. Hmm. A premium quality. Go ahead. I was just going to say, if any of these are really good, I'm going to have to like eat eat my words and Wait, be like i will too apologizing yeah. uh a premium quality blend famous since 1894 for its smooth taste and incomparable flavor well when you import flavor and color yeah <laughs> i think laffy taffy should put that on their labels <laughs> <clears throat> imported banana flavor i don't plan on spending way too much time on all these so let's just kind of Let's let's get going. I'm jumping right into the nose. First thing I'm gonna do is salt my nose. <laughs> okay, it's not horrid. No, it's actually not bad. Definitely, definitely can smell like the ethanol, like alcohol. <clears throat> like, a, honestly, this smells like a cleaner. <laughs> oh. I'm sorry. This like is um, this is eighty proof, by the way. Okay. Oh, there it is. Yeah, no, it's definitely like it's like a cleaner, like a like rubber a alcohol. Yes, yeah, with like a rubber glove. Yeah, that doesn't <laughs> that doesn't bode well for the uh... <laughs> with a slight sweet sweetness to it. Yeah. Uh, okay. Jumping in. All right, I'm trying, I'm trying, man. <laughs> ah. <laughs> 
اه اه وحتى اوه ماي جاد It's still burning. I mean, not that I was expecting a lot of flavor on this, but this just tastes like water with an alcohol burn. And for 80 proof, like I hate, it's like the gross hug. I shouldn't even, I will, you know what? I'm not even going to dignify it by calling it a hug. That burn well it just hangs out right here <laughs> you don't yeah. feel it going mm-hmm. down here yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah it just stops right mm-hmm. here this mm-hmm. is a i have strep and need to cure it immediately it's not the worst thing i ever put in my mouth you, you were setting yourself up on that one. Oh, i know i know that kind of that kind of those kind of jokes those kind of jokes go great with your hat by the way <laughs> <laughs> Oh, um, uh, it's my Tob- Tobias Fumke. Um, I, I don't even, I don't even want to dignify it with a rating. I say we go through them all because I want to pick the best one of the four of these, which isn't, <laughs> um, so I say we just keep going. <laughs> what do you think? And we'll give a nice like overall gonna, rate. Gonna need a minute. <laughs> All right. Well, you while you have your minute, I'm gonna I'm gonna talk about our next our next contender, ladies and gentlemen. It's Bankers Club blended whiskey, extra fine American blended whiskey. The straight the straight whiskeys in this product whiskey is so blended right, uh, and this product are three years or more old twenty. 20% straight whiskeys, 80% genuine grain neutral spirits. Oh, dear God. Oh, dear God. What? Did you hear what I said? 80% of this is grain neutral spirits. Yeah. Sorry, I was distracted because I was holding the vial up to the light and noticing it looks like dirty pond water. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. This is also 80 proof. Oh, this is out of New Jersey. No wonder it's probably going to suck. No, I'm just kidding. Um, now, to be fair. Um, um, and this only comes in liter, by the way, in case you're wondering. Okay. Nose. Hmm. So the first one, they didn't have any sort of like age on it. So Bankers Club is saying at least three. So this is at least the three-year-old. And it didn't say that it added extra anything to it, so none of the flavors were imported. No, no, not like uh, not like our, our Philadelphia. Still, just that rubber glove, rubber rubbing alcohol. Okay, so yeah, I'm not. You getting anything else? Sugar. I'm getting sugar, like like that sugar in the raw, which I love. But all I'm getting is sugar in the raw and alcohol. Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm not. I mean, I don't expect a lot from an eighty proofer. So maybe, maybe I will say maybe a little fruity, a little fruity. Okay, that one actually had something in there. There was a teeny bit of oak with a little char. And now it's gone. (laughs) So that one at least had a teeny bit of flavor. It wasn't like I was just drinking water with a burn. So already doing better. (laughs) Ooh. You have to edit out that yawn. (laughs) Nope, leave it in then. No. Just get yeah. sugar. 
I mean, a little bit of the oak, a little bit of the char, maybe like yeah. a smidgical of pepper, but I'm getting mostly burning sugar. Mm -hmm. Not sugar that's been burned, but sugar that burns me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, I like, I already like it better than the Philadelphia. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Oily in my mouth right now. Yeah, legs aren't too bad. I'm not loving the aftertaste, I'm not gonna lie. Like the finish? Yeah. I'm not getting it's much not, on the finish. I, I don't mean like no, once like once you the notes go away and you're just kind of left with like my tongue just like tastes oily. Mm. Gotcha. I don't love it. I don't hate it. I don't no, love it. I, I don't expect to fall in love with any of these, so. I'd cook with it. Mm. You won't get a lot out of it. No, no, but, you know, if you're just looking for like a little hint of something. Mm -hmm. I guess I'll finish this because I need an empty glass. All righty. Well, you work on that. I'm going to introduce... <gasps> <laughs> I'm gonna introduce some. <laughs> you okay? <laughs> All right. While you're recovering, next up for Queens. Uh oh. This is 101 proof, Zach. So we're bumping up 20, 21 proof here. Whiskey A blend. Whiskey A? Yeah. What is a whiskey A? <laughs> I don't know. It's just this whiskey. Here, look, look. Whiskey A blend. What's whiskey B? I don't know. Blended and bottled. Oh, this is also out of the uh, same place that Bankers Club is from. Or at least the same location. Cassidy Laird. I'm pouring far too much of oh, these. Oh, no. Diff same location, different different distilleries. All right. Um, this straight whiskeys in this product are three years or more old. 24% straight whiskeys, 80% grain neutral spirits. This is oh, 20% straight. There we go. There's the 100. So this is basically Bankers Club, but proofed up. Okay. <laughs> Interesting. So if you didn't love Bankers Club, you if you thought Bankers Club was a burning sugar, this is going to be a real burning sugar. All right, let's see. Okay. Let's Sorry, see. <laughs> I have to apologize to my nose for a minute. I don't like that. It's the same. It just burns. Mm -hmm. I, don't, I get even Rubber less glove. sugar on this one. It's just. Yeah. I mean, this is all ethanol, rubber glove, like sterile. You know what I mean? Nail polish remover. Yeah. There you go. <clears throat> We're going to sound like such snobs on this episode. <laughs> I'm apologizing to my nose. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm not a, <laughs> we're not whiskey snobs, but <clears throat> I feel like mm. I have to pour like something real good after all these. All right. Jumping in. I had a Johnny Walker red label last night. Oh, did you? It's tasty. Mm. Nope. Nope. I, I, I didn't. This is going to sound really bad. I didn't even want to swallow. Go on. <laughs> All right, I gotta, I'm going to go in again so I'm not like...
I'm just tasting the proof on this. Again, I'm not expecting a lot out of these four, right? Eh. Mm. Go back to the Bankers Club. See how that differs. Yeah, this just tastes like proofed up Bankers Club. I don't want to finish this. I don't want it. I don't want it. (laughs) I don't want it. I don't want it. No, we soldier on. We do this for you. I hope you know that. There's like it's dry. The proof, the proof is really all I taste. That ethanol proofing. Uh, It's not a good burn, and it doesn't stay long. Thankfully, I don't know if the burning I'm feeling right now is from that or from the first one, and just never quit. Yeah, it's like all my insides want to just die they're yelling at you okay hold on <laughs> uh you collect yourself so this one is the only one i've actually kind of interested yeah. in prior and this one actually had like it's not a blended <clears throat> this doesn't say blended <clears throat> old crow which is, show. which is, uh, it's been around for a while. Um, Old Crow, I believe, were the ones that made the Chessman set. Whenever they made that, I don't know if that was still in the seventies or whatnot. Um, but it's the original sour mash. So meaning when they, uh, in the you know when they um, the, was the fermenting, they leave a little bit of the the mash in there when they pour a new mash in sour mash. Mm-hmm. Kentucky straight bourbon whiskey. So at least we got something like that, right? So I don't, don't, from what I understand, I don't think it's, it's not blended because then it can't be called straight bourbon whiskey. It also is called bourbon whiskey. So follows all the things. This is 80 proof. Just say on the back, anything fun? This at least has some color to it. Oh, it's aged for three years in new charred white oak barrels. Little bit, so, very little color. Not so, little bit, um, more than the last. So, this one is the only one that I actually recognize the name of. You know, prior to yeah, prior to to buying these. Obviously, I knew Bankers Cup, but I know Bankers Cup because they usually make I think a gin is the like the well gin. Um, mm. <clears throat> but yeah, so we'll see. Okay. So it's three blended, three blended whiskeys against a Kentucky straight bourbon whiskey right now. I like to think there's no Ooh. way to go up, but there is. I'm getting some dark, dark fruit, like dark dried fruit. I definitely don't get that rubber ethanol, <laughs> um, sterile <laughs> that I did with the rest of them. get cherry yeah yeah yeah, yeah. I get cherry i swirled it around the cherry opened right up mm-hmm. <coughs> no this is starting to get into the territory of what i kind of expect to smell when i open a bourbon right you know right, right. something which is to say something so our buddies at thrifty whiskey over on youtube they do a youtube uh whiskey review 30 dollars and under um they have an episode where they they blind review. I think they blind this one, uh, Old Crow, and then the Old Crow is also in one of their, um, uh, what do they call them? Their brawls, uh, where they do for uh, a blind brawl. There it is. That's what it's called. Um, so definitely go check them out. Go check those two episodes out at least. Um, yeah, and maybe more. Mm-hmm. 
I'm getting a little bit of pepper and leather as well. Yeah. It's so good to be getting notes again. <laughs> yeah. Thank again, you. didn't expect a lot from the first three. <laughs> All right, dive it in. This is better. Yeah. Light and crispy in the front. Slight pepper, like kind of rounding up a little bit in there in the middle. It's got a 80 proof. Mouthful. I don't expect a lot. I don't get any kind of hug. It doesn't stay very long. No, but when it's in there, it's not. It's not expensive. dry. I'm not drying out. Like it's not drying my mouth out, you know. No. The other ones made their presence known in a bad way. Yeah. This one has very little presence, but the presence it does have is an offensive. Mm -hmm. I get that leather. Um, I get that leather in the middle of the palette that you were talking about. Yeah. I don't hate that, John. No, me neither. Me neither. Um, yeah. Dare I? I'm going to okay. do some – let me I'm, see if I can pull up these Because we're not pretentious because we just say what we like and whiskey is what you like. You know, if you like Philadelphia or Four Queens or uh, Baker's whatever club, good for you. Nothing wrong with that. I It made me want to set my mouth on fire, but <laughs> if you like it, that's all that matters. I – would go so far as to say I would not turn my nose up at a glass of old crow. <clears throat> right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If I, if I, they ha if it's all well. If this I don't mind it, really. Let me look this up. I'm trying to look up if there's any tasting notes. If anyone ever did that. I mean, okay, which one was the last one we had? The Four Queens? The second the Four yeah. Queens touched my tongue. Yeah, no. Which is a very dirty sounding sentence. <laughs> um, I immediately was filled with regret. But the second I took a sip of the Old Crow, I was like, no, this this one is different. This one... It's it's definitely still a well whiskey, but this is a mm -hmm. whiskey that wants to be something, if that makes sense. Yeah. It doesn't just uh, want to take paint off of a wall. I'm looking up some details online right now. Uh, if you... I don't mind that. I'll finish this one gladly. Oh, Jim Beam, since 87, now owns... Old Crow. <clears throat> well done, Jim Beam. Uh, sweet Mandarin Orange tea quality. This is from distiller.com. Roasted peanut finish. Yeah, that's kind of their, that's their tasting notes. That's kind of all they... I'm going to be honest, I didn't get any of that, but... No, but now that I know it's owned by Beam, you would think you would get some like peanut. I will say though, as as far as well whiskeys go, that's not bad. No, I mean it. Not, for me, that's that's the that's the winner of this this these four. Oh, of under ten dollars. Not not even a competition. To mm -mm, be honest, this no. just came in and blew everyone else out of the water. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I I honestly would not. <clears throat> All right, so let's run down the line. Oh let's God. give it. Let's give an overall rating. Okay. Okay. Like our, our rating. So, what what would you give the Philadelphia? Can I can I give you whatever you want? Uh, okay. For everything except the old crow. Oh, you're just gonna go right now. Okay, good. I'm just gonna. I'm swinging for the fences. I would throw it at. Okay. I would then set fire to the dump. <laughs> 
which because that's pure alcohol burn pretty good would make an even bigger fire mm-hmm. and then i would put out that fire so i could set it on fire again all right so then what would you give the old crow i give that downtown yeah yeah no i give that downtown if i was if i was out drinking and i just did not want and i was like bon- if i didn't want to spend a lot and i was out drinking or if where i was only had like well whiskey or whatever mm-hmm. you know i'd i'd do the old crow gladly i don't know if i'd <laughs> so keep it in my house just because sorry my house just <laughs> because um i don't know that i'd really go back to it at home but i don't know i, I didn't mind it i thought actually i actually <clears throat> thought it was pretty good so for me the Philadelphia and the Four Queens are the throw it out. Don't don't even bother. Um, Bankers Club wasn't horrid. I don't really know. I've never seen this at a bar. You know what I mean? So I would say downtown for the Bankers Club, but I doubt you'll find it. Um, I'd give the old crow a house. Nice. Yeah. Um, nice. Yeah. I, I would. I, I would give it that. Um of of this lineup. Now if I compared it to like other stuff, who knows? You know what I mean? But of this mm-hmm. lineup, that's where I would put that that old crow nice. at. Um nice. yeah. I did like the old crow. I did like it. Mm-hmm. I'll probably finish the little sample bottle you gave me. <laughs> you can dump me <laughs> tonight. Yeah. That's um what we should do. Oh, you know what would be fun. You wanna blend them all? We, um, I don't want to blend the old crow because I okay. did enjoy that one. So I kind of want to like just enjoy it. Well, I guess I got the whole bottle, so I don't mind if I together. <laughs> but the other no, three, ahead. I'll I'll blend the other three right All now. Right, let's try it right now. I'm really sorry, guys. Okay, my rating was really pretentious and kind of like really dickish. It wasn't pretentious. It's whatever you want. It's our show. No, but like, listen. If somebody likes it, somebody likes it. You know, whatever. Uh, Yes, that's the thing. Dude, the thing. I, want- I threw out wild turkey products two advent calendars ago. I just want people to know that <laughs> someone came up to me and they said, hey, jag off. I happen to love Four Queens. It's my favorite of all time. I want you to know. I wouldn't think any less of that person. I'm very happy that they found a whiskey that they love <laughs> and that they enjoy. Yeah, This rating is purely my own. Only I would want to set fire to that whiskey twice. Is it weird that I get caramel (laughs) out of the blend of the three? I'm still blending. I I had to disclaimer myself because I don't know. It just feels (laughs) weird. Yeah, you're fine. It's our show. They don't like it. They can skip ahead. Talk about butt scooters again. I get absolutely nothing on the nose. Really? I get a little bit of caramel, and that's about it. I get a slight sense of dread. <laughs> no. Mm-mm. No, that was a bad idea. No. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. <laughs> no. Bad Zach, bad idea. Oh, my, my skin hurts. <laughs> it's so cold. Oh, mm-mm. going back to Old Crow. Gotta get John. It's so cold. Uh, Hold me. I'm not even. I'm not even kidding. Like I'm cold. Oh. I'm gonna try it again. <laughs> Glutton for punishment over here. <laughs> Just it's like when Lake Erie caught on fire, but in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. This is why we videotaped this one. 
like if if water Mm -hmm. was the exact opposite of what it was this is like what water and hell would be (laughs) it's a a blend of blended whiskeys i'm just gonna have a drink of water and you drink the water and you know what it burns it's not hot but it burns (laughs) and it just makes you feel like there is no peace <laughs> anywhere. You're going. You're going dark, bro. So that made me feel feelings. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it did. Yeah, it did. I'm gonna save this for the next time I need to strip my deck. <laughs> that probably would do it. Or. And I feel like, okay, because we live in the age that we do, you know, I need to disclaim this. This is a joke. And I am not a doctor. Okay. But oh, God. Oh, God. This could kill COVID. Like if you were already injecting bleach into yourself to try and kill COVID, like you may as well give this a shot. Mm. <laughs> Hook it up to an IV and yeah. So we're going to be doing this series, uh, price range series. I mean, obviously the Okro wins for under 10. Get it. Forget the others. Um, yeah. I'm thinking we'll probably do from now on, we'll probably do within five because I feel like going from like 10 to 20 is probably going to give us way too much to think about, especially if we're just staying American, right? Maybe we look at 10 to 15 and then 15 to 20. We'll see. We'll see how that goes. I think that sounds like um, a good idea. I got to do, I haven't. 20s, you get, you get some good stuff. Mm-hmm. I mean, Buffalo Trace yeah. is one of my favorites. Well, Buffalo Trace, lives. Maker's Mark, that's right in the $20 range. So like, yeah, you know, Maker's Mark, I had we may have to, we may have to split those up somehow. You know what I mean? Um, yeah. so, uh, we'll, we'll figure those out as this comes on. It won't be yeah. every episode. It'll be like every, you know, um, maybe every other episode or something like that, but keep an eye out for this series. I'm excited about doing it. Um, I'm excited about trying this and helping you guys out when you're trying to figure out what in the heck should I buy? So old crow. <clears throat> if you're going for well whiskey, if you're going for under 10 old crow. God. And these were all nine ninety nine. yourself. Love yourself. Buy old crow. Now these these four there's probably more under ten, but these are the four that I found on Fine Wine Good Spirits website here right. in PA. Other states, who knows? Uh, you know, I'm right. not I'm not as familiar with other states, but these are what we got in PA. Right. At least around these parts, this is the well whiskey you get yeah. access to. <clears throat> oh, even if you hate yourself, only get Old Crow. <laughs> okay. So anything those Dream Engine needs check out those dreamanswers.com. It takes you to our site that we are, are paired up with, with Pittsburgh whiskey friends. So you can actually check out anything Pittsburgh whiskey friends related as well. If you go to those dreamanswers.com. Zach, I, I'm, I got nothing else. I got, I got uh, nothing else. Um, thank you funny. for watching. Thank you for listening. I want to show them my dog. This got dark. You want to show them? Oh yeah. Okay. My doggy. Pull, yeah. Pull oh, it off. My, my floof. Gussie come. <laughs> Just because, just because the folks episode. on YouTube need uh, need to pick me up. We need a floof. <gasps> there he is. It's my handsomest floof. He's is. like, Dad, put me down. All right. Well, I guess the only other thing to do is Zach. And I'm grabbing my old crow. I'm definitely not grabbing that mix. Hold on, Zach, Reese. Of course, I'm old crow. Because <laughs> I can't finish that. Mix. Yeah, we don't want that. Definitely don't want that. Anyways, only thing left to do is Zachary, sir. Cheers to you. John, my brother. Cheers to you. And cheers to you. Cheers to you.